Guys, you remember when we were at Annapolis and I saw something absolutely amazing? Yes. The Sunseeker Hawk, the 38 foot absolute monster. Uh, I don't know if they want to call this a rib boat and all that stuff, but you know what? Today we're going to go ahead and call it what it's called. So I have Nick here. Nick. Hello. How are you? So, first of all, let me start off by saying I was in extremely impressed uh, when I saw this particular boat in Annapolis, Maryland at that show. And uh, we're here today at the uh, Fort Lauderdale show and it's 2019 guys, but this boat is absolutely stunning. And I wanted to get more information because I wanted you guys to tell me exactly the history of how this boat evolved. Okay. And maybe you can show me a little bit about the boat because you guys are going to know the boat better than, than me. Well, we've been working with the world-renowned Fabio Butzi, the Italian race boat driver, who, I must say, sadly passed away this year, which is a great, great regret for us. He was a great partner. We've been working for about 20 years. He did some boats for us in the early 2000s, and we've re-evolved this. We've re we're going back to our heritage to reinvigorate the Hawk designs, the performance race boats, which Sunseeker has always been passionate about doing. And we've started with this vessel, 38 foot, 11 inches long, with twin Mercury racing engines. She is, she's quite narrow beam, she's seven foot eight wide, but with the tubes, with the stab tubes, which adds fantastic lateral stability, she's nine foot eight wide. So I'm gonna jump on there. Okay. So we can go ahead and talk about her because, I mean, if we're not on here, we can't talk about how amazing this little well, it's not a little boat, it's a 38 foot beast to say the least. And, uh, and Busi was an incredible designer and he has several records out there. And he does, I, he's got about 50 world records and he was, uh, he, was, he was a fantastic man, very passionate man. And do you know what? We've um, designed this boat in collaboration with Busi and our in-house interior design team. And uh, we're all, to, all together with Robert Braithwaite. Robert Braithwaite was a great friend of his over the years. Uh, he was the founder of Sunseeker. But what we try to do with this boat is to look for the attention to detail. So everything you see, everything you touch, is customized. Down to the speaker grills, our stainless steel speaker grills that are manufactured specifically for us. These seats are made by um, Bezzoni to, to uh, Butchie's design. Electro hydraulic 120 mil travel of ram, so you get this very comfortable ride when you're when you're driving a high speed with this boat. We've got Simrad navigation equipment on the console here, and we've even got the controller for the Simrad actually on the steering wheel as well. Again, at high speeds, you don't want to be touching t touch screens in front of you. You want to have the controls at your fingertips, which we, we got. I'll tell you. Um the design is is absolutely incredible and i'm sure with those hypalon tubes on the sides the corning the cornering on this boat must be fantastic yeah those the lateral stability that gives the boat is is absolutely incredible i mean she doesn't sit on her ear and on, on, on a sharp turn she turns aggressively and she just keeps it stable keeps you dry i mean dry it's incredible you, this boat just flies you, you'll be out the water which feels like you know many many seconds before when you launch it again very comfortable aided obviously with the hydraulic seats but even when you're at the back it's such a soft clean ride no spray absolutely incredible i noticed how high it is here um it's, I mean, there's a good, I guess, maybe four feet. Yeah, I mean, the protection from these side rails, you've got glazing in the side, so you've got, so you've got some uh, added feature. Great security, great safety, and of course you've got side deck, deep, deep combings right, right, right up to the front of the boat. So let's talk about some, some of the stuff here in the center of the boat. Uh, so I see that you have, is, is that like a... Yeah, little drawer fridge. So you've got your, your beers, so you've got one either side. So because you guys want to go ahead and use this as a boat that's really fast, it's a little narrow, what's the beam on it? The beam is uh, just over seven feet and then nine feet uh, with the, uh, with the with tubes the as well. Is there any storage under these chairs here, Nick? 
the, the center chair is access to uh, kind of machinery space forwards. Okay. These two chairs have um, the, the fridges, but up forward, big storage in the, in, the, in the sole of the floor, and then underneath the, wait for the helicopter to go by, underneath the fore, fore deck, Okay. We've got the big sunbaver, yeah. big storage vo void in there. I, and we've got charging points for sea bobs in there. I saw that. They had two the sea bobs over there at the other show. So I, I, I definitely want to show all these things here, guys. Take a look at all this stuff. You got nice rub uh, handrail so you can, you know, hold on because you're gonna go to, you're gonna go fast. Look at these little side windshields so it can flare out and the wind these. doesn't get you. These really work. We've got we've got little ventrally holes at the front of the screen, so this allows airflow to go through the through the screen to equalise the pressure inside the cockpit space and outside, so that the air doesn't whip round no. and hammer you. And these nice. little deflectors here, again, from when you're driving the boat at you know 60 knots, 70 miles an hour, you've got the air, you've got the air way from. So, so I guess this was Boosie's last gift to the world, right? This yes, Sun Seeker. Yeah, it, it, um, it, it This thing is outstanding, guys. And I'll tell you, if you're not familiar with the gentleman who designed this boat, it's he's he's a legend. And even a little handy space, which is always nice. Always nice, nice, nice head. And I'll tell you, it looks much bigger than what you would expect in there. So tell me here at the bow, Nick, of the boat. So, so you you guys created that area up front so you can put sea bobs and stuff like that. Most of the times, it's going to come off of a big sun seeker. Underneath here, be the side storage below, but the big storage underneath for life rafts. These seats have storage. The nice carbon fiber handrails. All the cleats are stainless pop-up cleats, retractable, so the keys are flush. The navigation lights are kind of black LED lights. We've got a four deck locker housing a windlass chain and warp. So it's all contained within the boat. So is this carbon fiber here? All these rails? Are these yeah, rails all carbon, carbon fiber? fiber? Yep. yep, they are. That is so nice. Um, and then obviously, and you know, you guys are making these in the UK, and yes, we are. And, and, and everyone in Europe wants to have. You know, people up there laying out and they like to, you know, to tan and yeah, it's a big yeah. thing in, in uh, especially in, in Italy, guys, they, they all have like huge sun areas so you can go ahead and just lay out and you know, make everybody comfortable. Um, so you're saying that this boat goes, what, about 68, 67 so knots? This, this is doing about 63 knots, um, 70, 75 miles an hour. But even, even, it's quite interesting, when you go to those sort of speeds, the ride is just phenomenal. Uh, but even when you're easing about 30, 35, 30, 35 knots or so, or 40 knots, it's just a dream. It's just, it's just kind of like lying in a nice comfy bed, you know? It's, uh, you know how so many boats can throw you around, they can feel rough, and you think, right, I don't want to do that again. Yeah. But the, 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 on the other hand, you come off this boat, it's like coming off a roller coaster ride as well. And you've got that big grin in your face. But you, you feel, feel but you feel you that buzzed. you felt like you were in control the whole time. Yeah. Oh, for sure. If there's a boat that you're on, it could be fast, but if it starts getting squirrely, that's not a fun boat. Yeah. You know, because you yeah. know, at some point that could get a little scary. Absolutely. So Absolutely. all right, so um, I, I, I I'm impressed. I'm ready to buy one. Where do I go? What can I do? I mean, uh, first of all. I have to um, email you every single day to ask you to do a sea trial, which is going to happen. I know you're going to say no, but I'll, I'll make it happen, even if I have to take it here at the show. Guys, we can squeeze it out through there. I, th I think I have enough there to squeeze it out there. I'm gone, Nick. If if we well, don't do a sea trial, we got to do a sea trial. Is it going to happen? It's going to happen. It's going to happen. It's gonna happen. Wait, we got to shake on it because in my channel, oh, oh. in my channel, oh, we got it, baby. We got, we got, we got it, guys. We got it. It's going to happen. We're going to do a sea trial on this bad boy, guys. Hey, the hawk. 38. We're gonna go ahead and get a little, a little bit more in depth with this boat. We're gonna do a sea trial. We shook on it, guys, and we're gonna see pure amazingness. Stay tuned. Click above if you want to see the rest. Nick, hey, it's gonna pleasure. happen. It's gonna happen. Good to meet you, buddy. We got it, guys. Thank ah. You.